Hi, we're going to take a look at how to extract raster layers out of a file geodatabase. So here's a zip file that I've downloaded. And so the first thing I want to do is to unzip it. Now you could use your built-in extract all feature on Windows. I'm going to use a program called 7-Zip, which is a bit faster and easier to use. So it's going to say extract here. And when that process is finished, uh, what I end up with is a folder that ends with .gdb. Now we can open this up and take a look in here, but really no human should do that because it's not human readable whatsoever. And it's just a whole lot of files that go on and on and on. Now ArcGIS will know what to do with that. And so we open up ArcMap and we're just, just gonna go to the add data. And I wanna browse to where that folder is. Um, so in my project folder, I see that it's interpreted that folder that ends with .gdb as a file geodatabase. I can see by the icon here. When I double click on that to open up, I can now see all the different raster layers that are available within there. This one has quite a few. Um, and I can just pick whichever one I want and click add. And it'll load that in and I can work with this as a regular raster data set. Now, if I want to be able to use this data in another program or I just want to extract out that one layer uh, so I have a smaller file, what I can do is right click the layer and go to data, export data. And there's a lot of settings here. I'm gonna skip most of the things at the top and go down to where it says location. This is a little tricky because we have to specify the folder where we wanna save the file first. Um, it's already set for me here, but I'm going to go up here. So you, what you would wanna do is pick the folder where you need to, where you would like to save it. If you're already in that folder, so if I'm already in my project and I wanna save it within here, um, I need to actually go up one level so that I can select it and then click add. So that fills out the location path. Um, the name, um, I'll just leave that the same for now. And I'm gonna pick the format, it's already set here, but uh, TIFF or GeoTIFF. And one other thing I wanna check is the compression type. If I do not apply any compression, this file is gonna be about 221 megabytes, which is huge. Um, for most data sets, you will probably wanna pick something like LZW, which is a lossless compression. Uh, do not pick JPEG unless it's imagery um, because that will corrupt the data a little bit and add artifacts. So LZW is a nice choice and I'm going to go ahead and click save. And here I can see ArcGIS going to work, I'm trying to save that out to a file. Uh, it prompts if I want to add that back to my map. I'm going to say no for right now so that I can look at what this looks like in our folder. So it's created um, this TIFF file. Here's the main TIFF file, which you can see is only about four megabytes. Um, so much smaller than that 220 uncompressed version that we would have had. Um, there are several auxiliary files uh, which go along with it. I'll just leave all those alone. But what I'm gonna do is take the TIFF file and just drag that right onto ArcMap. And when I do that, you can see that it's nearly, it is identical to uh, the original data set. 